Today we're going over Osoto Gari, Osoto Otoshi, and Osoto Garuma. Three throws that are very often uh, confused with one another, um, and each has its own little nuance. We're going to go over that a little bit today. Osoto Gari. We're just going to do the standard uh, Japanese version of this. So standard grips. I come. I off balance Brian. Step in. I want him off balance to his right rear corner, and I'm going to reap the back of his leg. So when I come in, my leg, my foot never touches the floor. It's going to reap the back of his knee pit with my knee pit. So here's the throw. Okay. So that's our Osoto Gari, right? Osoto Otoshi. On the other hand, comes in and my foot is going to go to the floor, right? Much like an Osoto uh, or a Tai Otoshi from the front, but it's Osoto Otoshi, so the, the attack is towards the rear. So I step in, let me throw here. This one is often taught in a um, self defense situation where maybe Ryan has a, a rear choke on me. I defend the choke, turn, and then turn. So that's an Osoto Otoshi because I put this on the ground. Right? Osoto Garuma is going to be similar to um, like an Ogaruma that you would do from the front, only it's done from the rear. For an Osoto Garuma, my hip actually comes past Brian's hip and engages so that I can reach my leg all the way across and clip both of his legs. So from here, all the way across, a little bit more velocity on that throw. So, one more time. Osoto Gari is a reef. Single leg versus single leg. Osoto Otoshi, major out, outer, major outer drop. Foot goes to the floor. It goes to the floor. Osoto Garuma, my hip passes, I reap with both legs, right? So I reap both of his legs with my leg. So here, here. You can see it gets a little more. Airtime. So those are your differences between the Osoto Gari, the Osoto Otoshi, and the Osoto Garuma. Osoto Gari, major outer reap, reaping action with the leg. Osoto Otoshi, more like a Tai Otoshi. My foot comes in and I kind of, it's a trip, right? More hand technique involved. Osoto Garuma is another reap, but it's a wheel. Garuma means the wheel. So I'm the hub of the wheel and Brian is the spokes. Right, so that's how you would explain those um, if you wanted to separate them up. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Places to go, people to throw.